The Bare Naked Ladies, Kevin Hearn is no stranger to the piano with his prominent place in the band, and he has a new album that's out today. It's called There and Then, Solo Piano Improvisations that he hopes will help listeners through a journey of musical meditation. Kevin Hearn joins us now this morning to talk about his new music. Good morning, Kevin. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, first of all, I had a chance to listen to some of the music, uh, including that one right there. And uh, you really dove into this journey of musical meditation. Walk us through this new album. Uh, sure. Um, we went, me and producer Mark Howard, who's worked with Bob Dylan, Neil Young, and Tom Waits, we went to uh, Montreal and we found three locations and I went in for three days and improvised for three hours on three different pianos and nothing was planned, no demos. It was all, what you hear on the record is was what was captured there and then. And you feel it, you really feel it. And you know, at a time right now where so many people are just kind of struggling through this pandemic and many people going through a hard time, um, why was this so important for you to bring this out, especially in terms of um, the type of music that it is? It's really this incredible journey of meditation. Well, when you've heard enough, you wanna stop hearing about convoys and, uh, and COVID, this will be a nice, Thing to put on and I just wanted to make something that people could drift away to you know it's a very calm and, and dreamlike place and you really got personal with this you know one of the songs called Lou and uh, tell me a little bit more about the inspiration behind that uh, well that was just improvised I had a microphone and I was singing ooh and it was in the church and it was sounding really beautiful and then when I had to find a title for that song uh, I thought, well, it sounds like Lou. And uh, I thought, you know, it's kind of a nice, fitting, beautiful tribute to my friend Lou Reed, who passed away uh, five years, uh, a few years ago now. So, Yeah, I don't think many people realize that he really is a musical hero for you. You actually had a chance to work with him for many years. Yes, I had his photo up in my locker all through high school. You know, I knew all of his songs. So when I did finally meet him, I think he he realized that I really respected his work and, and knew everything. He even said in an interview once that I knew his songs better than him. <laughs> <laughs> what a compliment, right? A huge compliment. Um, and you also, I know you were very good friends with Gore Downey and you made it a point to really involve his family in this as well. Yes, well, I, I really connected with uh, his family through the Secret Path Project. And then the uh, pandemic hit and, and some of those developing friendships were sort of uh, blocked off in a way. And so this was a nice way to re reconnect and stay connected. I did a, um, a video with Mike Downey for Lou and the cover art is done by Willow Downey, uh, Gord's daughter. And uh, she's just a wonderful artist and painter. Yeah, there it is, yeah. She painted that while listening to the record. That's incredible. I love it. Um, I had a chance to see a video that you posted recently on your Instagram, and I was moved to tears. Uh, you were playing a song for your daughter, and I, I just, as a parent, I felt the connection there. And so I just wanted to know if your daughter had a chance to listen to any of this mu new music. Yes, I play it for her. Yeah, she's uh, my best um, sounding board. <laughs> <laughs> I we connect. It. We connect through music, and it's a. She's, uh, you know, she doesn't speak, so we connect through music, and it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It was a, a touching video. Um, if anybody, you know, wants to hear this new music, it's called There and Then Solo Piano Improvisations. It comes out today. Where can people uh, uh, listen to it? Uh, it's on all digital platforms, and I also released it on vinyl. I think it sounds the best on vinyl. So ask at your local record store. Uh, you're speaking to me. I love listening to music <laughs> on vinyl. So uh, definitely a wonderful way to listen to something so beautiful, magical. Uh, Kevin, always nice chatting with you. Thank you so much for joining us and, and congratulations on the new album. My pleasure. Thank you.